Am I dead? Hello there Gaga. I've been expecting you for some time. And yes, you totally are. So sorry lady. No worries Jesus. I never expected to live past 25. It is a miracle I made it as far as I did. So now what happens? I feel as though you are indifferent to the overall experience of death. Perhaps you would rather go south, take a tour of the warmer climated regions of the afterlife, and get back to me. Now no JC no need to get your beard in a knot. I apologize your holiness. Most holy. Holy man. Man of most holy. He with the most holes. Holy molly. Sir. Your honor. That is more like it. Stefani Joanne Angelina Germanotta. That is right. Absorb it. I know your real name. I've got a lot of questions, Your Holiness. Likewise, the sky blue? Who killed JFK? How does hair gel function? Why didn't I become a neuroscientist? What did you say? How does hair gel function? No gaga, you gaga, you wanted to be a neuroscientist? Yes, it was my backup plan. What could you possibly know about neuroscience? Well, I know that the brain connects to the spinal cord, that nerve roots connect to peripheral nerves and nerve endings talk to each other using calcium channels, voltage-gated channels and brain cells communicate using G-coupled receptors, that a chloride channel has seven substrates, that you should never wear a brown belt with black shoes, or white shoes before Easter. I must admit Gaga, I am impressed by your knowledge of clothing choices that correlate with a religious holiday, but more importantly, with your interest in your brain's function. It all started when I noticed I thought in colors. When I saw a number, a letter, days of the week and months of the year seemed to evoke personalities. Like Mr. Monday. He is a grumpy fellow. A grumpy blue man. The year 2011, I see it closer to me if I think of it in my brain than sale, 1986, the year I was born. Oh yes, this was a heavily described phenomena in first recognized by my Greek friends, in 1880. I was just a boy then. Go on Gaga. You mean you knew this existed and other people have it too? Number one, of course I knew. Hello, I'm the big JC and of course you aren't the only one, hello, what you thought I made you specially apart from everyone else. Well, I mean, now that I think of it, it sure does explain your choice of attire, clothing, incorrect usage of words, sentence structure, personifying things like the wind in your songs, or what you like to refer to as songs. And that whole song about poker face. And all this time. I thought you loved me more. Researchers are now discovering that I love one in 23 of you more. That is how many people I gave it to. Synesthesia runs strongly in families, but the precise mode of inheritance is yet to be ascertained by your kind. I know the answer of course. But I would rather you all figure it out. I like creating jobs for neuroscientists. Let it be known that Jesus cares about the United States economic situation and I am trying to employ as many scientists as I can. So take the Donald Trump. J.C. I have to say, I did not know you were so full on interesting information. I tried to read that long book you wrote but I didn't understand it too well. If you would wrote like you are talking now, I would have totally read it holy one. Yes. Neuroscientists should have written my book, as you call it. It is true that the brain is the only organ in the human body that has yet to be fully understood. The bleeding edge of science so to speak. It's not for everyone though, have to be quick, witty and slightly enjoy disappointment and frustration. 
interesting and by far the most driven set of people I created that is for sure. So can you tell me more about synesthesia? I like your style. Surely. Synesthesia is also sometimes reported by individuals under the influence of psychedelic drugs, after a stroke, during a temporal lobe epilepsy seizure, or as a result of blindness or deafness. Synesthesia that arises from such non-genetic events is referred to as adventitious synesthesia to distinguish it from the more common congenital forms of synesthesia. Adventitious synesthesia involving drugs or stroke apparently only involves sensory linking such as sound vision or touch hearing. There are few, if any, reported cases involving culture-based, learned sets such as graphemes, lexemes, days of the week, or months of the year. So you are saying drugs, strokes, seizures and genetic things can all cause this? Whom I wonder which one caused it for me. I think we all know the answer to that one gaga. I always told my producer I had transient ischemic attacks. Who knew one evolved into a mini stroke? Oh gaga. I thought we were getting somewhere. There are five types. One is grapheme color synesthesia, which is the most common that I gave humans. Individual letters of the alphabet and numbers, referred to as graphemes, are shaded or tinged with a color. 2 is sound color synesthesia, this can be described as a splurge of color that you would see if a loud voice happened, like a dog barking as you walked by, and it would produce an outburst of a red firecracker looking splurge coming from the dog's mouth. You getting this gaga? Like if I were to hold a high note at the MTV Movie Awards and someone with synesthesia would see me on television with a big pink and sparkly colors coming from my mouth, maybe even musical notes that were colored? Yes, exactly. The third type that you all have identified is number form. A number form is a mental map of numbers, which automatically and involuntarily appears whenever someone who experiences number forms thinks of numbers. This was first found by my friend Francis Galton in his publication called The Visions of Some Persons. One of you even discovered that this form is a result of cross-activation between regions of the parietal lobe that are involved in numerical cognition and spatial cognition. I was very proud of you all when you figured that one out. Now in addition to its interest as a form of synesthesia, researchers in numerical cognition have begun to explore this form of synesthesia for the insights that it may provide into the neural mechanisms of numerical spatial associations present unconsciously in everyone you all are getting smarter so it seems perhaps i will not have to wipe your kind during the new rapture in october rapture what is that a dinosaur yes gaga a dinosaur Sure, why not? Ordinal linguistic personification, the fourth kind, is a form of synesthesia in which ordered sequences, such as ordinal numbers, days, months and letters are associated with personalities. Why don't you try and give me an example, Gaga? Amuse me. T is a man, big broad shoulders, deep voice, wears a football player's helmet. U is a fat woman. She cannot be trusted. S is a slinky, sly young gangster, slithering around the other alphabet letters, stealing wallets. Also untrustworthy. P is a nice petite, sweet, and courteous lady. She however maintains to be top heavy somehow. If you know what I mean. Ha Jesus. Get it. P is top heavy? Ha ha ha. I'm funny. You are many things. Funny is most likely last on that list. The last is my most favorite, the rare lexical gustatory synesthesia, where I made individual words in the phonemes of spoken language evoke taste sensations in the mouth. Okay fine, Saint Peter helped me out with that one. But just a little. Don't get carried away. Peter you hear that? All I have to say thank you Jesus. You really helped me learn something today. It is not every day that I learn something. Well, unrelated to showbiz that is. You rock J.C. 
Thanks, Gaga. I will take that as a compliment. Now you still want the tour of the underworld, or you wanna stay up here with me? Your choice. I suppose I would like to stay. I would very much enjoy making music on that big old organ thingy I know you have up here. I think I may be able to teach those angel folks some new hits, hymns and melodies. What do you say, Jesus? You ready for a Gaga makeover? Consider this my poker face.